How's it going YouTube and welcome to a, another video for Modern Warfare 3 Call of Duty. This is a hard hat and this is another kill confirm uh, video which I been, seem to be enjoying quite lately. Um, uh, I'm rocking the RPGs and of course the uh, PP whatever the hell that is. Yeah. I really don't know my own guns so yeah. Um, anyway, yes. Uh, what I'm here to talk about uh, today is my expectations for Black Ops 2, which comes out in uh, less than three weeks' time, which is uh, really exciting because uh, it's always nice getting new games and things like that. But it brings back the old uh, Treyarch compared to uh, Activision, which I've always found out that uh, Treyarch has been uh, a much more better developer, writer, and things like that um, in compared to. Uh, uh, Activision and things like that um, for gameplay. Uh, don't get me wrong, Activision, yeah, it's still pretty good, but um, Treyarch has always added that extra element uh, that Activision hasn't done. Uh, for example, uh, World of War, um, the different add-ons and things like that that they kept uh, producing for for the actual game, as well as uh, zombies and things like that. And if you aren't aware, like, I'm a pretty big fan of those, uh, zombie killing games and survival kind of things like that, um, even though I don't actually post any yet, um, but I do plan on posting a few for when Black Ops 2 comes out. But anyway, yeah, I've always found out that, um, Treyarch has always, uh, put in that little extra for, uh, their gaming, uh, for their gaming fans and things like that, which, uh, which is really good for people like me who, uh, get bored of the, uh, continuous, uh, killing and things like that and um of just like going head to head with people uh kind of mode um which is which is uh yeah it gets really repetitive after a while and you know it's always good to have a uh, team building exercise which which doesn't really exist in uh modern warfare 3 at the moment i remember playing a game earlier and uh they kept chasing around the spawn point which uh, ended up making the enemy spawn behind us and someone's like well you know we would have do that but there's just no team playing in uh Modern Warfare 3, so I was like, oh, well, yeah, you, you got a point there, so, yeah, I mean, like, uh, games like, uh, the zombies and things like that, uh, bring it out, but, um, I did manage to, uh, pre-order the, uh, care package, uh, edition, and, uh, you're probably going, oh, you're wasting your money, but, uh, I'm, I'm a slave to, uh, RC components and things like that, I really love remote control helicopters and cars and things like that and I guess uh, Black Ops 1 originated my uh, game fetish for uh, collecting uh, limited edition gaming items such as like the RC car and um, I guess the Dragonfly drone now is the uh, newest addition to the collection <laughs> but um, yeah I mean there's a lot of uh, digital content that I really would like to see like the uh, 2025 zombie uh, map for Nuketown which um, I was always a huge fan of uh, Nuketown especially uh, PC wise for uh, for Black Ops because it was just endless possibilities but my expectations aren't high for Black Ops I mean it is what now the 8th 8th installment what one, two, three, four was Modern Warfare, five was World of War, six was MW2, seven was Black Ops, eight, ninth. There we are. Now we're just reliving through the history, so the ninth installment. Um, and I find that, you know, uh, after four, they kind of slightly went down, and I mean, Black Ops changed a whole heap, and um, for the actual game mechanics for, uh, Modern Warfare, uh, for, for actual Call of Duty, so, I mean, I'm looking forward to the new mechanics to, uh, Black Ops, uh, 2, um, which is always good, but, uh, like always for new games, I, I, I tend not to watch, uh, trailers or sneak peeks or hidden things like that, even though they are frequently posted everywhere, and you see, everywhere you look, you see, uh, Black Ops 2 kind of thing, um, it's like, uh, uh, how do you put it, you know, you see a really good, like everyone tells you to go see a really good movie and because of all that expectations, it turns out to be really poor and um, look, it, it's, it's one of those matters for me where I go, well, do I do I really want to uh, see a, uh, have a really high expectations for this game and for it to uh, turn out to be really uh, poor? So, 
I've tried to keep away from that. I unfortunately being in the industry that we do is in video recording, you always come across someone going, Oh, this is this and that's that. So I have heard rumors and things like that and I have watched the trailers because I'm like, oh do I really want to buy the game? I really want to see what the storyline is about and so far the storyline is really interesting to me um, because it has always um, been on my mind for the questioning of what happens when someone actually uh, does hack into uh, the robotic system for drones and things like that. So yeah, that's uh, that, it's, it's on the back of my mind uh, in terms of like, well not in like, or I'm paranoid kind of way, but it's you know like, oh yeah, that that could happen, so yeah, I mean, in all these situations, yeah, it is one of those, oh, that could happen kind of thing, so, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that storyline, um, in terms of multiplayer, um, the point systems and the class capturing, our uh, cross, uh, custom classes and creator class systems, yes, we've all heard about them, so, I mean, it's, it's a whole new way, and, um, look, I'm, I'm more excited in seeing how it all comes together, and, for those that have already played it, yeah, I mean, you can already say, and it, you know, I understand that you want the uh, fanships and things like that, but it's not always nice to post um, your first-hand experience and always share it off. I mean, there's always us who want to, you know, learn first-hand, pick up the game, you know, smell the case, and <laughs> you know, oh, that fresh new smell of a game. But yeah, I mean, it's really hard in um, being a like a uh, poster of videos and gameplays and commentaries and things like that and not hear anything. So, I mean, it's always always something that we're looking out for, but I, I really am looking forward to playing through the storyline, uh, mainly because it, like, it was interesting. Um, multiplayer, i not not really looking forward to, uh, like nothing in particular. Uh, the mechanics probably is the major side that I'm really looking forward to, especially the uh, score streak uh, system that they do have running, um, which does make it um, a little bit different than just kills. But um, yeah, um, I really am looking forward to the release and that for it, I guess. Um, so until next time, just remember if you are. Uh, if you like my videos, give it a like, it does go a long way, um, and also, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to my videos, be or my channel, because I like having new subscribers. So until next time, peace.